Hey, hey, so I'm here this morning with... <laughs> and we are exploring the ruins here in Cozumel and I've forgotten how to pronounce it already. San Irvasaro. San Irvasaro. Yeah, let's go. With um, it's very quiet here, there's not many people. It's a little bit pricey to get in because there's not that much here. About four people, like four people on our way yeah, in. We're like people like there's no there's no pyramid, it's not, it's not big. Chichen Itza. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay, it's fine. But it's quite big, it's a nice place to walk around. So I'm gonna take you long, like maybe an hour max. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Don't know where we're going to next. We just got the car and we're just gonna head off around the island, see what happens. arrived at the beach club um, it's really cute here we can't stay because the weather's gonna turn so we're trying to get around the island quickly but you can surf here the waves look really good there's a nice pool there's sun lounges there's hammocks food looks pretty good definitely worth renting a car and coming over here Just had first dives, then we've got some surf this time. So, we're here at uh, Playa Paradiso, Paradise Beach, and um, we can go to the bathroom, get a drink, chill out before we go and do dive number two. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So the only problem with living here is that you get really used to the heat <laughs> and I'm so cold right now. There's no reason for it to be cold right now. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm like, <laughs> I say, I've got a jacket on, <laughs> like freezing cold. I'm, I'm wearing a shorty. <laughs> Unzipped, totally fine. She's shivering. shivering. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I think it's like, it's it's not it's not cold. Like, even underwater, I'm like... It isn't like a shorty, I'm in a full wetsuit and I'm still chilly when I'm down there. It's kind of pathetic. Like, am I even British anymore? Like, seriously. I, I mean, the accent is still going strong, but... The accent's going strong, but I feel like I've adjusted a little bit too well to I Caribbean life. I think the true test is going to be like, if you go back... I die. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that you don't want to come visit me in Vermont. Hell, hell no. I mean, in the summer, is it warm? Uh, ish. So, I mean, sometimes you still need to wear a jacket. I'm not convinced. Do you know the I thought we lost the engine. <laughs> I thought we lost the engine. Then I realised 
it's my mask i've left it on the roof of the car and it blew up i mean how it stayed on there this long honestly i don't know everything's fine it's fine the ma i've recovered the mask although two people on scooters definitely gave me crazy looks the rain stopped the rain again stopped. <laughs> <laughs> we made it <laughs> and right now we're at puerto maya just passing through because no one really stops here unless you get off a cruise ship. Never. Um, yeah, we're back where we know. The rain stopped. We survived. It's all good. Didn't lose anything else. <laughs> we didn't run anybody over, but um, we're almost back uh, to San Miguel. Yeah. Unfortunately, thanks to the holes in the floor as well, uh, my feet got a little bit wet. <laughs> there was a puddle. It was just splashed back. We just came to this amazing chocolate shop. It smells so good in here. Cool. So my friend um, told me that we needed to come in here and it's Chocolatia Isla Bella um, and they have artisan chocolates and cacao and an array of goodies. Everything chocolate. We do here. everything here. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have the kitchen in the back. We do everything here. So everything's made in here and just look how good this looks. So this one is the Oaxaca truffle um, because the name is um, because it has mezcal. Um, so it's a little bit smoky, it's not like a typical dark chocolate. Um, well and mezcal is from Oaxaca mostly, like tequila is from uh, the tequila town. When it's like similar um, it's also from a similar plant, it's like a cactus, but the name mezcal is because from Oaxaca. Delicious. So we haven't actually eaten dinner yet, we're starving, we've just come up from diving, but we just really want some chocolate. So I'm going to go with the mezcal, and I'm going to go with the peanut butter cup truffle. Okay. There we go. They even look so pretty. Oh my god, this is amazing. Doesn't disappoint. This is so good. This is so good. So when you really like spend a little bit of time on Cozumel and get to know it, it's full of surprises. So not only does it have amazing chocolate, it also has a microbrewery. The first one. Cheers. Cheers to a great day. Cheers. So it's called um, Cerveceria Punta Sur. Um, and it's just on 10th Avenue. It's not too far from the ferry. They have amazing wood fire pizzas, and this beer is really good. I drink, I mean, not to sound weird, but I drink a lot of beer. I love going to microbreweries when I travel. Um, I got the IPA that they make in house, it's delicious. It's so they literally like make it here. That's how micro it is. Like, we're in the room. So much pizza! Just look at this. Okay, that's it. We're signing off. I'm like, it's the I end of barely, our day. I can barely keep my eyes open We're right now. Fall asleep on the ferry on the way back to Playa. I drank the beer. At the, I ate the whole. I ate the whole pizza. She did six pieces. I have half of it left for my dinner tomorrow. I'm super excited. And now I'm like, it's the end of our adventure together. So we've had a really cool time. We have. We have. It's been really awesome. Um, surprise scuba diving today. Thanks, scuba Tony. Thank you, scuba Tony. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for following our adventure today. We hope that you learned something and that when you come to Cozumel, you'll have just a great time as yeah. we If you're going to dive, you obviously have to go to Scuba Tony. They're awesome. They take such good care of you. And their dive masters are just, they love what they do. They're passionate about it. And they're just so safety conscious. Yeah. And that's such a And the captains are pretty awesome too. They're like cleaning your masks. I mean, you, gear, you like, saw the magic, right, from earlier? I mean, like, seriously, how many dive boats have you been on where the captain's been doing magic? <laughs> None. None. Okay, right. Cheers, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel Please for do. videos. Bye.